Hello, my name's Harold. Uh, this time I'm going to tell you about uh, making a carriage stop for my lathe. But before we get into that, I want to tell you about a, a neat guy that's here on uh, YouTube. He's got uh, a nice channel. His name is Arduino vs. Evil. And, uh, of course, that means he's a Canadian superhero uh, out to stop all the evil forces and such things. He's he's carrying on the tradition of Captain Canuck, who uh, had a much better costume than uh, Arduino does. But, uh, anyway, Arduino vs. Evil's got a, a neat channel where he he sort of thinks outside the box. And one of one of the favorite episodes there was they, they built this big old potato can. You know, big. You couldn't call it a potato gun. You got to call it a potato cannon, because the part that held the uh, the gas had to be uh, six inches in diameter and a couple of feet long. And I'm sure it used, uh, you know, a real high caliber of potatoes, because uh, you know a cannon that big ought to shoot a really big potato. <clears throat> and, and what's really really neat about this though is what they're using for propellant. They got that sucker hooked up to a bottle of acetylene. And acetylene is what they're using to uh, to blow the potato from here, I guess, into orbit or something. I kind of suspect there are a bunch of rednecks that got lost up in Canada. I don't know. But, I mean, it's the same kind of thing they'd do. And, and you know, I, I love watching things blow up and, and such as that. So I, I was really enthused with that video. You really need to go over there and take a look at it. And uh, that's not all he does, though. Sometimes he tears down power tools and shows you the good parts and the bad parts and tells you if it's a good tool or not. He's uh, done a lot of unusual things on his channel, uh, including taking a uh, crucible and, and melting uh, metal with a, with a welding machine instead of uh, putting it in a furnace like a lot of other people would do. And uh, what I really suspect is that he's a crusty old gold miner up there in Canada because he, he does a lot of videos where he makes stuff out of gold you know he uh, he prospects for it and he, he refines it and he I forget what he made some part for him some tool he made uh, and gold plated with gold he had dug up somewhere so if you know if you got a couple of minutes you ought to search for Arduino versus evil uh, I'll try and put his uh, link to it somewhere in the video here if I can figure out exactly what to do, and then you can uh, <coughs> you can find his channel. Now about what I'm going to do today, I'm going to. I had been making a piece uh, for the world's most useless machine, and right at, it was right at the end of about a four-inch piece of uh, half-inch steel that I needed a hole, so. I needed a hole in a hole inside of a hole, uh, sort of, sort of shaped like this, you know, where uh, I drilled a, a hole through the center here, and then I would come back to the boring bar and I bored just halfway through so that I could set a little piece down inside there. Well, things went one along pretty good until I got within about three thousandths of what I wanted to be, and I crashed the tool, the boring bar, into the back of that hole and moved the uh, the piece I was working on and I just finished it up with a piece of emery cloth the last three thousand so it was kind of a nuisance but that let me know that uh, that I needed a, a carriage stop so that when I come into a hole like that dead end with a boring bar that I can stop every time without crashing into the back end of the hole and so that's what I'm going to show you today is that I, the uh, the carriage stop that I built to, to solve that problem and uh, don't forget to go over there and check out Arduino vs. Evil because he's a nice guy and he's got a very interesting channel and you'll enjoy it. I know I do. Recently, uh, while I was doing the, the boring that came out bad, it seemed uh, pretty certain that I needed uh, some kind of a carriage stop through here and I think I saw Mr. Pete build one. We put a block there of uh, metal and tightened it down and put a screw out of it so he could adjust it. So I measured between the uh, the little uh, wipers there and figured out it's four and a half inches and this area between uh, the ways there is two and three quarter. So I've got this uh, this nice piece of aluminum here 
that I'm going to use to uh, to make my own carriage stuff. I looked all over the place for for the right screw for the thing, and, and I, uh, 7 16 28 was about what I could find. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna come along here and. Uh, the whole cut. We'll be back when it's done. Well, there we are. That aluminum one by three cut in half and I'm hardly sweating at all. One of the good things about having a nice saw, I guess. Uh, gonna have to clean up some of that crud there. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Made a pretty nice cut on the end of that, I think. Okay, so Got some uh, nice size parallels in there, and we we'll just set this little bugger up here so that uh, I can square it off a little bit. Okay, so it appears to me that thing measures out at about 4.503 in width, which is close enough to 4.50 for me. And it certainly clears the uh, wipers on the on the lathe. So what we'll do now is cut some grooves so that they have a two and three quarter inch piece to to drop down between the uh, ways, and so it won't rock back and forth or, or go sideways or anything. And okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I figure that I have left myself uh, three thousandths clearance there. The uh, distance between the ways is 2.75, and that should be about 2.73 in width there. I don't have to drive it in there with a hammer, you know. So we'll we'll move it over to the lathe and see if it fits. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> Acid test. Does it fit? Yes. It fits. It's got a spot there that seems a little tight. Not sure why. If there must be a burr somewhere right along in there. I can feel it because when I, yeah, there's a burr right there. And I come up that close, so I don't have to uh, do something about that little damage spot right there. So that it comes in close enough. I guess if I go past it, there's not. Yeah, see it. It fits in there good too. There's just a burr right, right there. Undoubtedly something stupid that I've done at some time. But I think that fits really good. It's just nice and tight. Giving it 2,000 uh, clearance seems to work out. So next thing to uh, drill some holes. Okay, a couple strokes with a file right there where the burr was at and everything slides good now perfect fit I think anyway on to the holes I learned this little trick from YouTube put a, a dial indicator down there so that when I move things around that uh, I can move exactly where I want to go you don't have to worry about slack in the, in the threads or nothing this that's wonderful. It's not a DRO, but it's it's the next best thing. Mr. Pete used a, uh, a rod with a flat on one side for uh, the adjustment in this uh, carriage stop. So after thinking it over a lot, I finally decided to go with to go with his design. Although I had favored threading a piece into there with real fine threads. But if I, I can do that later on if I really want to, just move over some. So, 
this is the first time around we're going to go ahead with the Mr. Pete design. Okay, so here we are with the uh, with the finished product. Got uh, this piece down here on the bottom to hold it to the bottom of the waist, and we'll just take it and apply it where it's supposed to go here, there. and uh, put it down here. Because I've left like 2,000 turns, you have to get it kind of straight before you put that thing under there. Um, we found the threads there. Yeah, there we go. So, you get this thing, tighten it down, and the carriage comes up, hits right there. And uh, once it hits there, that, that's where it stops. And I can move it way back there, and the, the rod's not too long. It stops dead on right here. That'll keep me from uh, crashing the tool into the bottom of the hole anymore. And this little tube, that little uh, rod is easily adjusted. You loosen this, shove the rod back, forth, whatever, for fine adjustments. It uh, looks like it came out just right.